is Dalen Lexinger and welcome to this installment of AFK From Home. This week I want to do an artwork with you that has a, a larger idea of communication. We, I really want to try and bring some playfulness and, and humor to this artwork and the connection to language. So this week we're going to be looking at the work of Graham Gilmore. He's an artist who was born in BC here and went to Emily Carr in the 1980s. Graham had a very close peer group at that time um, and they had a, an art show at the Vancouver Art Gallery in the 1980s um, and they were called the Young Romantics. That peer group included Douglas Copeland, Angela Grossman, Derek Root, and Attila Richard Lukacs. Graham Gilmore has attributed much of his artistic development to that, that strong friendship bond that he had with that group of other artists in, in those developmental years. This week I want to look at a few artworks by Graham Gilmore. Um, I think that will give us a, a bit better idea of, of how to play with words and language and, and communicate our ideas. So the first artwork I'd like to look at is an artwork entitled Opportunist. This artwork is a, a print, so it's a digital inkjet print with a etching uh, placed on top of it. In this artwork we can see in the background ledger paper and this is a strong influ influence from Graham's father who was an accountant and used to give Graham ledger books to draw on and we can see throughout his career he's incorporated this type of graph and notation from these ledger notebooks in his drawing practice and his artwork. We can also see an opportunist that Graham has started to break the word up and look for other words within this word and start to play with language and how it changes and how language can become an, Im an image in its own right. Graham's work has been described as exploring the word as image and the image as word. And so we, this week we're really looking at that idea of how an image can communicate an idea or a story or a feeling. The second work I'd like to look at is Harlequin. And this work is quite a large work and, and Graham did this in collaboration with students here in North Vancouver. And this artwork, they've taken words from a novel and collaboratively they've selected them and reassembled them in in almost it seems a silly or a playful manner to recreate a new story. When we read it it really kind of makes our brain pause and question what is going on. There's lots of really descriptive words in this artwork and it takes us a while to try and piece it together. Here we can also see these ideas of almost thought bubbles or bubbles around words that Graham is using as a way to interconnect the language and deconstruct the language at the same time. And the last work I'd like to look at is Einstein, Frankenstein, and this artwork from Graham is again looking for that words within words. We can see the word Einstein shows up in the latter half of Frankenstein and he's broken it up and played with it again in these thought bubbles. So for this week's activity, I'll ask you to try and find a phrase or some language of, of your own. And I've got a few suggestions to, to get you started here. Um, the suggestions I have are you could, as part of a group, your family or friends, every person could say a word and you could go in order and you write those down and then you figure out a way to connect those words. Um, the second idea is to take a book, maybe you're reading it for school, and go through that book and select words out of that book and you might want to create a system for yourself where you use say prime numbers or some something like that to select the words. So I might select the first word, the third word, the fifth word, the seventh word, and so on in that sequence and then maybe repeat at a certain point in time. Or if in the past month or so you've heard a phrase or you, you've come across something, uh, an expression that you would like to play with, 
um, and deconstruct or, or take apart and, and search for other words and images within that, I encourage you to do that. Supplies that you'll need for this project are paper, pencil, and hopefully something water soluble. So a paint or water watercolor pencil crayons or something like that so we can get some some drips happening in our artwork. I've selected a phrase that uh, the five-year-old boy that I live with keeps repeating and it's stuck in in my mind and he says it with quite a sense of humor and so I think that's why I've chosen it and that phrase is if you can't beat them get beat by them and I think as these days that I'm experiencing right now um, some days are really funny days and some days are kind of overwhelming and and that that phrase kind of sums it up and the humor that he uses in his voice really kind of sums up the moment for me right now and so I, I've used my pencil to sketch that out really loosely on on my piece of paper here and now I'm going to start adding color to it uh, like Graham does so one important thing you may want to try for this is to tape your paper in a vertical fashion so that you can let the, the paint or watercolor or water drip down a little bit and so you have an uncontrolled element. I've put a magazine underneath mine here to catch some of that mess to make it easier to clean up. Also if you're working on a nice table or something you don't want to you don't want to ruin it. So maybe putting wax paper or a magazine or the likes underneath. So I'm going to come in and, and start with creating my text. If we look at Graham's artwork, it's not super controlled. There is a, a sense of kind of speed to it, which is a, a little different for me. I generally tend to work kind of slowly. If, as you're creating your phrase, if you're not getting a, a dribble effect and, and you want to try and get more of that, you can take some water on a brush and kind of splash it over top of some areas. And as you dab that water on, you'll, you'll get some, you'll, you can create it. A source of kind of dribble and, and uncontrolled or semi-controlled inaccuracies to your artwork. I want to go in now and and create those those word bubbles or thought bubbles that that Graham does to connect things in the artwork. So again going to come in and he interconnects things. He selects certain words and and creates almost a, a new way of reading the words, the links between them. So one of the techniques Graham uses is to use different colors to help delineate or mark those selections. I've decided to just use primary colors, so red, blue, and yellow, and black and white to create my composition. So I can make green, mixing blue and yellow. I put a little white in with this one. I mentioned earlier Graham's influence from his father and the ledger paper and his drawings on those ledger papers, but another strong influence of Graham, and I need to mention it as we're doing this, was his mother was a nurse and Graham would 
read through the nursing textbooks and the anatomical drawing books that she had at home and so this kind of thought bubble sense almost has like a, a anatomy type of feel to it or a structure of maybe veins of the body or, or things like that and so Graham's mother and and her field of study played a huge role in his development of this style as well. So here's my finished artwork. If you can't beat them, get beat by them. Uh, re again, reminding me of the five-year-old I live with who calls himself Super Sebastian. So it, it warms my heart. I know the artwork sometimes looks a little messy, but this, this artwork really warms my heart and is going to remind me of this this time in my life and him running around the house and then pausing and saying you know if you can't beat him get beat by him uh, the artwork again is inspired by Graham Gilmore and I think uh, is looking at the power of language and the interconnectedness of words and language and art I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've created an artwork, please do share. Again, that warms my heart to see, see the artwork that you've created. You can use the hashtag AFK from home and uh, it'd be great to see some of your artwork. Please tune in next week for another AFK from home video. Thank you.